Over the last year, the most worn shoe in my collection wasn't a Nike shoe or an Adidas shoe or Jordan, it was Birkenstocks. So like I said about a year ago, I got both of these Birkenstocks and before I had them, I'm like, why would I ever want these? They're sandals, I would never wear them. And let me tell you, after I got them, these instantly became one of the most worn shoes in my collection, which is kind of crazy because I didn't even want these at first. But after I got them and started wearing them, that's when I figured out how nice these were. I highly suggest all of you guys pick up a pair of Birkenstocks right here. I have the EVA ones, which are made entirely out of foam and these cost, I think, $45. So they're really cheap, pretty much anybody can afford these and they come in a bunch of different colors. And then I have these ones, these are the soft bed with the leather straps. And these ones are a little bit more expensive, they're, I think around 120, 125, but you may be able to find them on sale somewhere. And these just have a little bit nicer materials and they're a little bit more durable, which is what this video is about. I'm gonna show you how these have held up over the last year. And I have worn these ones a little bit more, so just keep that in mind when watching the video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Now moving on to the close-up portion of each of these two Birkin stocks I'm going to show you each of them separately just in case you don't want to watch the other one and I'm going to start off with the EVA ones just because this is the one I've worn more and just going around the shoe as you can see these are pretty beat I've worn these a ton over the last year and they definitely show and starting off with the outside of the shoe this is a foam sole so it's not too durable there's a ton of wear in like the forefoot area and moving on to the back there isn't as much wear because I don't really drag my feet when I walk and if you do drag your feet you will burn through these really fast just because the sole isn't very durable because like I said it's made out of foam all these little speckles all over the shoe are probably grass because I do mow the grass in these so that's probably what that is and moving on to the sides you definitely can see some wear there's a bunch of creasing on the midsole just because as you wear shoes over time the foam breaks down and that's what happens on these and then moving on to the straps there are flex screws where I walk which you can easily see these just because they're foam so the grooves just set in and it's on the other side as well you can see some of the foam is deformed because it's creased so many times so if you don't like that just keep that in mind the straps have held up pretty well though there are some scratches and scuffs just over the times I've worn them and you cannot really get these out I've tried to I've washed them before and I've like rubbed them down with a magic eraser and you can't really get these out so once they're on there they just stay there permanently so if you don't like that either definitely keep that in mind before getting them I only have the black colorway so I don't know how well the scratches and scuffs would show in other colorways if you have another colorway of these just let me know in the comments if the scuffs show on these and then moving on to the footbed of the shoe you can see some creasing on the edges and there's probably some in the front too just where I've stepped and there used to be printing on the sole of the shoe which if you watch my first video on the Birkenstocks you'll be able to see it but that has since rubbed off and then looking at the strap buckles pretty much the same condition since I first bought them they'll just be a little bit dirty and it's really nice none of the holes on the straps have stretched or broke so that's really nice these are pretty durable even though they show lots of wear that you these will last you a while so they are a really nice shoe i mow the grass in these so they do hold up really well so that's what i can say and they're really cheap too they're only like 45 dollars so you can buy multiple pairs of these and you'll be good for a while that sums up how the birkenstock eva has held up over the last year overall it's a really durable shoe the least durable part of it is probably the outsole just because it's made out of foam but for the rest of the shoe it's held up really nicely over the last year i've worn these a ton and i've mowed the grass in these and there isn't really too much wear on them besides a few scuffs and just some overall foam creasing on the midsole but there's no tears rips or anything on the foam so that's always really nice you'll definitely be able to wear these for a while and they're really cheap as well so if you do ruin them it's not really too hard to replace they're only 45 dollars so it's relatively inexpensive for a pair of shoes that's it for the birkenstock eva portion of the video now i'm going to show you the soft beds and how they've held up over the last year so let's get right into it now on to the soft bed birkenstocks and how they've held up over the last year and I haven't worn these ones as much, but I have worn these a fair amount. They just don't show as much wear just because they're a little bit more durable than the EVA ones are. And starting off with the outsole, there isn't too much wear on these just because the outsole material is a little bit different. I don't know if it's rubber or if it's just a harder foam, but it just doesn't show as much wear. As you can see in the forefoot area, there isn't too much wear. And the heel area as well doesn't show too much wear. On the midsole, you can't really see any creasing like you could on the EVA ones. I think this might be a foam just because it looks like foam, but I'm not too sure. So if you do know, just comment that down below. I'd really appreciate it. But but it is a lot more durable than the EVA version. And if you're concerned about durability and how long they'll last, definitely buy these ones just because the sole will last you a little bit longer just because of the different material that it's made out of. And then moving on to the straps of the shoe, there is a bunch of scratches and scuffing, but personally, I think that looks really good on this model. It just looks weathered and I just really like how it looks. You can see there is some like wear on each of the two straps, but nothing too major. And then there's also some discoloring all over the edges. And there's some folding right here, creasing right here, like on the last one. A little deformed but not too bad compared to the EVAs 
and then there's the creasing right here is a little bit harder to see than it was on the EVA version. And the buckles on these are made out of metal. So you're not really going to have too much wear on these unless you actually snap the metal, which I don't know how you would do that. But these will last you forever just because of the material. And the holes, like on the EVAs, aren't stretched out or anything. And then moving on to the footbed of the shoe, it is a lot darker than when I originally bought it. This, it used to be like this kind of color, but now it's super dark just because this material holds in dirt a lot better than the EVAs do. On these ones, you can see the writing is still there. So this writing was on the EVA ones, but it did rub off. And then on this one, it's like actually printed into the actual footbed so it won't rub off. And then it does say soft bed here, but I have worn that away just from wearing it. And then moving on to the outsides, this part is pretty durable because it's made out of cork. So you can't really mess this up unless you, I guess, tear it or scratch it. So this part's really durable. And that pretty much sums up the rest of the shoe. Overall, this shoe is a lot more durable than the EVA one. So if you really want a durable shoe, definitely buy this one instead, even though it's a lot more. I think these are $125. I think the soft bed ones are a little bit more worth it than the EVA ones are just because the materials are a lot more durable and they're a lot more comfortable as well. The soft bed material is a lot softer than the EVA foam so I just think it's a lot more comfortable over long periods of wear. So if I had to choose between each of them I would definitely choose these but you definitely can't go wrong with the EVA ones as well. That sums up my review of each of these two shoes. Overall they're both really nice options you can't go wrong with either. Personally I'd pick the soft bed ones but I want to hear which ones you would pick so make sure you comment down below if you would rather have the soft bed version or the EVA version of these Birkenstocks. So that sums up my review of how each of the Birkenstocks have held up over the last year. Hopefully you found this video helpful and if you're in the market for some Birkenstocks, hopefully this helps you decide on which ones to get. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're new to my channel or you just haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I pretty much upload every week. So just make sure you're subscribed to see the next time I upload a video. And that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.